T- tell me about your hips real quick. What are, you, what are you doing with your hips? Well, what are you trying to achieve with your hips? So trying to keep them as high as possible. Okay. Um, not so much that obviously you're like a reverse triangle in the water, but I think if, if your head position's right, your ne- hips will naturally come up and then obviously your legs will follow that. So I always see the hips as a very vital part of the body in breaststroke because your arms attached to it and they're going to follow, you know, where that power is going, but also with the legs, which is the majority of power in breaststroke, if your hips are down, you're going to be sending that power down. So you try and I just try and surf the water. Yeah. Um, and again, it's, it's, it sounds very simple, but it, it's extremely hard to do. Um, and that's why I love two kicks, one pull so much because it helps me just surf and get the extension and a little bit of fitness out as well. If you're doing, you know, hundreds, two hundreds, two kicks, one pull. Right. Uh, what about your head? Tell me, tell me, what are you doing with your head? Every, every breaststroker does something a little bit different. They, some, some keep their head up, some drop the head completely. What do you do? So, I mean, yeah, I agree that everyone has their own strategy. You know, someone like Chuck Cobb on a 200 will keep his head down pretty much on that full stroke and then come mm-hmm. up. Yep. Um, but for me, I always see the head as almost, I like to get it up quick because I like to breathe, but also my chest relies on that bit to, you know, for my elbows to come together and then drive forward. Mm-hmm. But as soon as my hands are through, I like to drop it. I just drop it really. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah i mean it's it's a heavy head to carry around this one but <laughs> it's uh i like to just keep it you know nice and neutral really and not put too much tension through it right so you, so you're actually forcefully dropping your head it's not like you're you're falling into the stroke you're you're forcefully dropping your head i won't say forcefully it's just naturally kind of going down because it's so okay. so heavy <laughs> 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 so quick um well t- tell me about your your legs because i i noticed you know we used to teach you know, bring the heels up all the way up to the butt and that's not where your yours come or unless they're coming up so quick that i don't notice it but it almost seems to me like you you do a, a half kick like you come up and then snap back quickly tell me what yeah you're doing. i mean if you look at the uh, if we look at the videos that we have in british women where we we slow it down frame by frame they do actually come up you know quite high okay. i think obviously because in a competition and where most people may see it, it may look like a half kick, but they do actually come up quite high. We try, we, of course, we're making that effort to get there. So why not go the whole way and you utilize that? And it's not like I've got a speed issue, so I can always get them up and down real quick. Um, so it is still coming up to the hip, you know, as much as I can, uh, but I don't send it outwards. I think breaststroke traditionally has, you know, been up to the hip and then people right. go like this. Right. Outwards. I'm like, why would you, why would you send the water there? It's just, it's just ridiculous. So, when you're coming up, it's more of a kind of a, obviously your feet go like this and then mm-hmm. it's pushing the water away from the, from the, from the outset. Right. Um, but again, trying to match that on a 50 breast rate when your stroke rate is 65 is very, very difficult trying to get the power at the same time. But again, you know, people have their own way. And just because this works for me, doesn't mean it will work for someone else. Everyone's body shape is pretty much completely different. And, you know, we have different bones, we have different joints. Uh, so we're just, I think swimming in general is utilizing your gifts and your talents and your, what have you been given and finding a way to utilize that and maximize that potential. That's interesting that you say that slip in water because uh, a, a lot of breaststrokers in, in stressful, te- tense situations like a uh, Olympic games or world championships, you know, you have a tendency to pull too hard because you want it so much. Right. And, but, but you, you, but you are pulling hard. I mean, so what's the fine line for Adam Petey between pulling too hard and, and getting that tempo to where you want it to, to just be clicking at the right, right strategy for you. I think I'm absolutely dead by the time I finish a hundred anyway. So I am probably pulling hard too hard. Um, but there is no way around it. That's just where the fitness comes in. But I think there's a difference between hard and tense. I think tense is the right word that mm. I think you may be looking at that you do see a lot of breaststrokers because they want it so much they get tense. Um, mm. But I just stay fluid. I enjoy it. Um, and the last kind of 25 meters, you're absolutely hurting, but somehow you find a way to get through that. And that's where I kind of people make or break because, you know, obviously you want it. Everyone wants to win, but how are you going to get there? How are you going to, you know, utilize that to the best you can. Um, so yeah, I mean, we'll see, we'll see, uh, you know, how other people do it at world championships and how they react to a 25 meters. Um, because it's going to be a little bit of a different final. It's going to be a different race and, uh, you know, everyone has their own kind of 
egg in the basket in that last 25 meters. 